BTS news and we are here at the Royal House to interview one of the most important kings of the 11th century. Of course, we are talking about King Malcolm. It's an exclusive interview of BTS news. Join me. Hello, Your Highness. Thank you for your time. Oh, hi, John. How are you? Fine, thank you. Can I ask you some questions? Of course. Do you like your job as king? I like my job. Being a king is difficult, but it, it has its earnings. What a great answer! Well, now another question. How did you feel when Macbeth killed your dad? Well, that's difficult to answer. First, I escaped to England. Then, I feel very bad, but I always knew the revenge would come one day. Do you still talk to Macduff? Of course, every day I talk in WhatsApp with him. Look at our last conversation of this, of this interview. Ha <laughs> Wonderful! Let's make a selfie! Of course! so much because there were always problems at the castle and everybody wanted me to solve them. You can't do everything. Then the other question, how did you convince Macbeth to kill Duncan? Oh that was easy. I tell him that if you kill him he will become a new king and I, he was going to have more power, <laughs> money and followers. Well did you meet Shakespeare? Well to meet or not to meet? That's the question, John. I didn't meet him personally, but of course I read most of his books, like Roman and Juliet. I love it. Well, that's all, my lady. Thank you for your time. Now I'm going to interview your husband, Macbeth. Bye bye. Bye, go on. She's amazing. Oh, yeah. But she's driving me crazy. Of love, of course. Oh, how are you, my bread? It's for us remarkable to have your words on the program. Thank you, John. I'm fine. I'm, being, I'm very glad of being here. Well, let's start. Can I make you some questions? Of course, I have all day long. Better for me. The first question. Did you like being king? Well, let me think. Yes. Well, I don't care. I, I love, love it. it. Yes, I enjoy being a powerful man. What were the reasons you like to be king? Oh, um, let me think. First, since I was a child, I wished to be Scotland king. And the second reason was that when I was buried in my house, I promised to my father that I were going to be a memorable person. And I didn't disappoint him. Oh, that's remarkable. What should be your legacy for the next generation? Well, I think it's a tragedy and new generations should read my story. The last question is, why did you kill Duncan? <laughs> oh, um, I have just remember I have to go to my uncle's house, so... We don't, we don't talk, talk anymore. We don't talk anymore. We don't, we don't talk, talk anymore. anymore. Okay. Bye. We don't talk anymore. We don't talk anymore. We don't talk anymore like we used to do. Our last interview. 
should be magical. We are here in a bagger of a castle that by discretion we can't reveal we are received. And we are going to interview the three witches. But I just can't see two of them. I ask them what happened with the other lady. Hi ladies, how are you? Fine. And happy because it is an honor to be in your show. Can I ask some questions? Of course. Where's your other sister? Well, she's preparing a potion because she wants some wings. Well, she's upset with that. Can you describe me your three favorite spells you have ever prepared in your life? Yes, my favorite three spells are the Killing Potion, the Race Spell, the one to go to the future. The last person who tried that one was Marty McFly. Oh, I remember that. For me, my three spells were Alhamora, that is to open and unlock doors, the Prince Charming, that for example is used in church, and the Dreamless, that you'll never fall asleep. With that potion, you just mix a wing from a bird, hot water, and an egg from a black cat. It's very easy. Oh, that is awesome. Thanks, but we can do bad things like this. This is a vanishing potion. Once you tried, you disappeared. The last question, which is, can you tell me something that would happen to me in the future? Um, you'll be the next Scottish Marcelo Tinelli, and you'll win an Emmy Award for doing the silliest questions I heard in my life. Okay, I thought I was good enough, but this is the end of the program. Now, I will try the Vanishing Potion. Goodbye, audience. See you next week at BDS News. Bye-bye. <laughs> this John Carter didn't ask us from the Reward Potion. <laughs> Bye, John Carter. I see you in the sky, my friend. Bye! Bye. Yeah. <laughs>